keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,500 likes, all right? That will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, as I've uploaded every single day since 2K20's pre-loop, and now I'm double uploading every single day since 2K21's pre-loop. So, Hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and that 4 p.m. upload every single day. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get into this video. Today we're going to talk about the one and only Paul George. Um, again, one of the better two-way players in the league. If not, probably, I guess you can say maybe the top three, top four two-way players in the league. I know his performance in the bubble wasn't the greatest, but if you just take that aside, obviously Paul George is known as being one of the best um, perimeter defenders and of course one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the league um, teamed up with Kawhi Leonard there just a really good one-two punch um, and of course you see right here he's a two-way inside out scorer he is 6'8 220 pounds which a lot of people probably didn't know how tall he is he's really tall um, to be 6'8 as a shooting guard wingman um, of course you know driving dunk driving layups gonna be off the charts Close shots to 75, mid-range to 75, three-point shots to 84. Now, this right here is predicated on the fact of how poorly he performed in the bubble. I think he was a 92 or 93 overall um, coming into 2K21 um, current gen. And then next gen, they dropped him a lot because of how he performed in the bubble, But which I think is kind of messed up because in the grand scheme of things, it's like, you know, you know, he has a whole portfolio of what he does and... I think like those last like six, seven games, is it really truly, um, I guess you can say, should impact his overall rating when almost it's a pandemic and everybody's just kind of coming from different standpoints. It was a massive three, four month layoff before the season revamped back up, but I don't know, man. But regardless, like I said, man, all of his, his three point shooting and his mid range is pretty low. His ball handling is really good. Just think about it. He's six, eight. Um, he is a hard person to make, obviously. Just almost like a, a um, uh, Kevin Durant because he is tall and now you know height does affect ball handling pass after 78 speed with balls just a 79 obviously Paul George is not known for being explosive um and then of course like I said interiors a 79 his perimeter is a whopping 92 okay still to 64 offensive defensive rebounds pretty average lateral quickness is a 92 which is tied in of course of course for us would be our perimeter defense so that's perfect and then um, speed's just a 79, like I said, I mean, acceleration's just a 79, his strength is a 70, vert an 88, which is crazy, stamina 95, right? Now let's go ahead and look at these, um, badges that he has, um, you know, of course he's gonna have some really good finishing badges, he's an explosive player, obviously I thought post riser would be a little bit higher than that, but it's not, um, and then of course his shooting, obviously that's something he's really good at as a shooter, um, he's gonna have tons of shooting badges, he has 19 of them things, um, 52 total badges, that's crazy. Ankle breaker, bell out, quick first step. Like I said, man, just extraordinary amount. And then, of course, defensively, let's look at all this stuff, man. Crazy, okay? So what we're going to do is this. We're going to actually head over to the My Player Builder, and then we're going to make the one and only Paul George. All right, my nephews and nieces. Now, check it out. So, of course, like I said, Paul George, he is a shooting guard, okay? Um, and then he's right-handed. He is third to number 13. Um, here, what I did was, instead of going 6'8", I went 6'7", okay? Just dropped him an inch because I was concerned about his ball handling, okay? So, his ball handling is an 84 right now. If I was to go 6'8", it would drop down to a 77, and that's just not worth it, okay? So, um, I did give him his weight, 220. Um, I did up his wingspan up to 7 feet, so I made his wingspan a little bit longer, um, which would just basically help with getting that perimeter defense um, and his, um, just overall, his defense in general just higher, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is this, as we do know, um, since close shot is something that we don't need for what we're doing, um, we're not gonna do that, okay? So I skipped the close shot. His close shot was a 75, but we're not gonna focus on that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 91 on the driving dunk. Remember, it was an 85 driving layup, driving dunk. We're gonna boost it up to a 91, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and go 69 
on the standing dunk. He did have a 75 um, post control. We're going to go 79. And again, if you hold R1, that just deals with all the down low stuff. And again, Paul George is really good basketball player when it comes down low on the, in the post up game. So that's something that we want to make sure we emulate. Then you want to go mid range at 82. Excuse me. And three point shot to an 89. So I did give that a boost. Because again, like I said, I felt like it should be a little bit higher than what it was. And then we'll go 81 free throw here, okay? Um, his pass accuracy, we're going to go ahead and get at a 78, just like he has it on his rosters, a 78. We're also going to go a ball handle to 84. That's the best we can do. Remember, his speed with ball was a 79. We're actually going to go and get it down to a 76, just because we want to make sure we use every attribute we can. So that's going to go right there at 10. And then for the interior defense, remember, his interior defense was a 79, but guess what we're going to do? We're going to get it to an 83, okay? We're going to boost that. We're going to go 95 on the perimeter defense, of course. Um, on the steals... We're actually going to go 65 on the steals. On the block, we're going to go 61 on the block. All right. And then we're going to go 66 on the um, defensive rebounding, which, of course, will pull the offense rebound to a 41. Then we're going to go 77. Oops. Oh, God. Here we go. Let's try this again. So let's go 66. I messed this all up. My fault, guys. All right. Um, this is 41. Right here. All right. And then we're gonna go 81 right here on the stamina. We're gonna go 80 on the vert. On the strength, we're gonna go 60, 75, and then the rest will go here to an 80, okay? 80 speed. So what you're looking at is 15, 15, 10, and 15. Again, 6'7", 220 pounds. We all know how difficult it is <clears throat> to make a shooting guard, point guard, or anything outside the power forward to get some badges. I think this is really good. Now, you do get a plus four to everything, so you're looking at a 95 driving layup and driving dunk. You're looking at a 93 three-point ball, all right, an 86 mid-range, <clears throat> 85 free throw, 82 pass accuracy, 88 ball handle, um, an 80 speed with ball, an 87 interior defense with a 99 perimeter defense 69 steal 65 block and a 7 defensive rebound 84 speed 79 acceleration um an 85 stamina and of course you get an 84 vert so all in all really really solid build you know i think this is a build obviously that can be played in the park or in the wreck because of the free throws is really good and as usual we want to go with easy blow buys and we want to go with limitless range three that is the most toxic that you can get and it also happens to emulate paul george Okay, so here you have it, my nephews and nieces, a two-way inside-out scorer like Paul George, and of course, shades of Paul George at the top, okay? So, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go ahead, test this build out real quick, get the 99, and of course, we'll get you out of here. So, um, here, what you definitely wanna do, as we all know, posterizer, rise up, slithery finisher, put back, no, no hold on, let's do this first. Let's go um, acrobat and relentless finisher so this is what we'll go with all right these are the most important ones of course heat seeker will be nice to have but oops sorry, i said have one more left over so let's do that let's do nah let's go let's get fearless up more all right then from the shooting standpoint of course hot zone hunter deep threes you want to go hot shots you want to go rhythm shooter of course which of course improves shots taken out there breaking down defender all right what's his stop and pop boost shot rating on standstill three pointers after dribbling all right um these might be the ones to go with then you can also go with blinders or dead eye like i said man you have many choices here from a playmaking standpoint we might have to go yellow and silver so let's go let's go yellow here let's go gold here um bell out you gotta go unpluckable yeah this sucks okay and then maybe go ankle breaker on bronze and then here on defense you want to go clamps, of course. You want to go ankle braces. This is very important. Um, where is rim protector? And you want to go chase down. You want to get rebound chaser, of course. And then you have these left over. Maybe we can go... Um, let's go... I'll probably go clutch defender. Let's go clutch defender and interceptor. Let's do that, all right? But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the Paul George build. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.